So tell me about today's client. What was her main concern? She wanted to know a little bit more about the O shot. Okay. Uh, she had a, a more issues with sensitivity or decreased sensitivity. How did she learn about the O shot? She did some research online. Okay. She actually wanted to go to Vegas. To, she was going to Vegas for, <laughs> it's true, she was going to Vegas for work and then she, she had learned about the O-Shot from the housewife. That's right, the housewife's show. The whatever housewife show is, uh -huh. uh, she learned about it there and then she researched it and she knew it was available in Vegas. But then while doing her research, she found out it was uh, available here at, <laughs> at Sparkle. Uh, so then she booked the appointment here. So what's the O-Shot? The O-Shot is an injection of PRP. Uh, so um, we take the blood and then we spin it and then we get just the PRP, which is a platelet-rich plasma. And that is the, uh, what do we say? I like the way you described it. You said it was the good stuff. It is the good stuff, but we actually have another word that I say. Liquid gold! Oh, <laughs> liquid gold. Even better. Liquid gold. Even better. <laughs> it is the good stuff, yeah. the liquid gold. Uh, so basically it has all the growth factors, uh, all the good stuff to create and make new cells. Um, so it'll we inject a little bit uh, in the clitoris and then we inject the rest uh, in the anterior vaginal wall just underneath the urethra uh, and then it can increase sensation, uh, increase lubrification and can definitely help with a little bit of the uh, urge incontinence so then when you sneeze, when you cough, those little uh, leakage that can happen, it can help with that too. So her problem was decreased sensitivity is going to help her for that too? Yes. Yes. So it would be like it. Who would be a not good candidate for it? No. Good question. So the thing with the O-Shot is that there is actually not a good candidate for it. So uh, everybody is a good candidate for the, uh, the O-Shot. Okay. What would be um, not real expectation? Um, oh. come out, um, false expectation. Interesting. Uh, so basically, because it is, it does help to increase sensitivity, so you increase sexual response, orgasm, uh, but it can't necessarily, somebody that has no, cannot, has no sensitivity and cannot orgasm, like it won't give you an orgasm, like those would be very difficult to achieve. So not saying that I wouldn't necessarily do it, but you would have to be counseled, definitely, that I cannot, because uh, it can't, like it won't, take a zero to a hundred basically uh, but it can enhance the response but I can't make a response out of zero so what's the percentage of patients who would be satisfied who would be happy with their results after one shot usually about 60% so more than 50 like more than half are actually very happy with just the one injection mm -hmm. so then I tend to just do one injection uh, the full to wait the full extent of the, the time so we usually say we wait for 12 weeks and then after the, the 12 weeks is done then I reassess and see if we would like to have a second O shot or not with the second O shot it's about 80% that are very happy mm -hmm. I can do up to three O shots. After three, I would not necessarily do, uh, unless you're a good responder, but if it's like, you know, zero response, I would not try it up after that. Can, would it have to be repeated in the future for the results to? I usually say it can maybe re be repeated every year, but it's not something that needs to be repeated every year. So it's whenever you find that you have the decreased effectiveness, then you can have yeah, another O shot done. And how do I know if I'm not not a good candidate or if I have a contraindication to this procedure? Uh, then we do have to have a consultation so that I'll, I'll assess uh, the client here and then we'll go through. Like I said, the OSHA, there's not m uh, a lot of contraindication uh, to have the, the OSHA, um, but it kind of depends on different medication that you're on and if you're on blood thinners, mm -hmm. uh, immunosuppressants. But, uh, it's very rare that you are not a candidate for the O-Shot. But O-Shot won't solve a crappy relationship. Did <gasps> <laughs> <Then> just see? <laughs> no O-Shot, unfortunately, will not help a crappy relationship. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> 
but it can help for self like again self arousal you don't need to have a, a relationship or a partner to even get the o shot that's very wise what's the downtime what do i expect for downtime after the procedure uh, and that's the one thing that's great with the O-Shot is that there is actually no downtime. Uh, so obviously to do the O-Shot we do use a numbing agent, so a numbing cream. Um, and then you'll have a little bit of spotting just from the injection. But other than that, like when you get home, you can just clean and then you are good to go. Wow. So you can have intercourse even the same day as the O-Shot. So really there is no downtime. No nice. Nice. So if you're interested in O-Shot, how does it work? Do you consult? Like, can you treatment the day? Like, you need a pap test? Like, what do you need? Um, so it does require a consultation um, and then I'll go through all the questionnaire, all the questions and then I'll do a complete gynecologic exam uh, and then after that if she's a good candidate then yes we can do the O-shot uh, but it definitely needs to have that consultation uh, prior just to assess what is the uh, to make sure that we have the right um, like goals and that we're treating the right thing and that we have everybody understand what the treatment will do and can do. Um, and then, yeah. Can it be done on the same day or it's preferable to have two different appointments? Uh, now, technically, yes, it can be done on the same day. So that is the new, uh, our new approach that we can offer is yes. the consultation and treatment on the same day. Wonderful. And uh, just mentioned that the reason we can do that is because you have a full assessment binary pre -screen, pre -screen. Oh, yes, yes. So now that we can offer that, uh, the consultation and the treatment on the same day, um, we can do that because now the nurse uh, pre-screens all the, the, con the, the patients before with the questionnaire uh, and then it is sent to the gynecologist. Uh, who reads it and can approve that the treatment can be done. So it's important to fill out the questionnaire correctly, is what I'm hearing. Yes, okay. yes, that questionnaire is very important. Okay.